Hello, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is Crypto Somniac here to bring you everything crypto related where the rich never sleep. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, thank you for tuning in. What am I going to talk about today? Today I want to talk about Bitcoin and the recent price surge we saw last night. I want to talk a little bit about SegWit and some good news that we received uh, yesterday. Uh, so for starters, uh, everything looks green today. We are, I guess that's good if you are into making money, uh, which I am. <laughs> so uh, what do we have? We have uh, Bitcoin. Uh, let me resort this by market cap. We saw a big surge. Now, why? Why did we see a surge? Is this the end of the bear market? Uh, are we in a bull trend? What, what happened? Well, I'm going to point out an article uh, just last night. We saw a big, uh, a minor signaling for SegWit 2x earlier. This the article is on CoinDesk.com, <clears throat> and uh, they weren't supposed to start signaling for the proposal of SegWit 2x until the 21st of July. And as of today, miners started to well, as of yesterday, started to signal early for the change. 43% of Bitcoin's mining power. So several of these different mining pools started to signal. Additionally, it lists here that Slush Pool, another mining pool. Uh, is anticipated to also signal, which is about 5% of the mining mining power. You need about 80%, well you need exactly 80% or more of the miners to signal um, in a period of about two days. So if it actually indeed occurs in these next two days, uh, segregated witness will be locked in and it will take two weeks to activate on the network. So essentially, I mean, this is a good thing in my opinion. I think uh, Bitcoin as a, a currency ha has really failed so far. It, it has have been a great storage of value, but it hasn't been able to be used as a currency. As I mentioned in previous videos, it, nobody wants to stand in line for a coffee uh, for six, seven hours while the transaction is pending and confirming on the chain. Uh, it's just not reasonable. So to be used as a currency, we need transactions to happen faster. And that's why we have alternative coins popping up left and right that sort of improved upon what Bitcoin had lacked in its uh, scaling ability. So I think this is great. I think this could be the end of the bear market. I think we've seen a big, large increase in price uh, just, just yesterday. And I think this is largely due, in fact, to the, the, the signaling of SegWit2x. So taking a look at this chart, we really have two ways that we can go about solving the Bitcoin scaling issue. We have BIP91 and we have BIP148. BIP91 is right here and BIP148 is here. In my opinion, I think it is best to go the BIP91 route. So if we reach the 80% miner support in this short period of time, if the miners all signal within a given period of time, SegWit will lock in and it activates on the network two weeks later. If segregated is locked in and activates two weeks later via this route, two, a two megabyte hard fork is basically being committed to. And if that gains 100% of the miner support, the activation of that two megabyte block increase happens. And if not, then we have Bitcoin splitting. And that will take place down in November, three months after the date of SegWit locking in. If we go back to the top of BIP91 and SegWit2x, is basically BIP91 doesn't reach 80% support from the miners. The miners could still activate SegWit within a year via a different route, BIP148. So BIP148 is basically committed to if 50% of the miners and the major Bitcoin businesses signal for that activation. If not, Bitcoin splits. But what you don't have with uh, going through BIP148 is you do not have the two megabyte hard fork being committed to. Now, if Bitcoin does decide to split, the ABC client will basically er erase the SegWit proposal, and then you'll have the old client with SegWit. So, basically, this chart is again just a, a broad overview of the different scenarios that we could have. In my opinion, I think what's best for Bitcoin in the long term is to go ahead and implement these changes as fast as possible. And I think following the far left line down here is basically the best uh, method to do that. Uh, just to talk about um, the transaction speed, right now we ha we can confirm 300,000 transactions a day on the Bitcoin blockchain. Now, if we were to implement SegWit, we could confirm 2.4 million transactions. So that's a whole lot more. So I, I really think it's a great um, a great proposal. We have miners uh, sort of 
going about their own ways in which they want to sort of implement the changes and that's sort of why we have uh, a, a split in the community now something I want to talk about also is uh, basically Litecoin and I'm, I brought up the Litecoin chart here on Coinigy if you haven't used Coinigy before it's free for your first 30 days and then after that you could pay 10 bucks a month for it it is really a great tool to use to analyze charts I love it if you haven't used it before I go over exactly how to use the charts how to analyze them and everything over in my cryptocurrency course on Udemy so what it is it's a course that shows you step by step how to get started in cryptocurrency how to get invested I show you guys how to take money from your wallet get it onto an exchange how to convert into other coins I show you how to protect your money how to invest in ICOs which are initial coin offerings I show you how to conduct research on coins, how to show you what is a good coin versus a bad coin to invest in. I also cover uh, technical analysis of charts, how to read charts, how to get in at the right time, how to get out at the right time. I go over all that and more in my number one cryptocurrency investment course. Right now you can get it for just $10. What that gets you is early access to the course. The course is a few days away from being completed and will increase in price. But right now you can get it for just $10. What you'll also get is access to the Facebook group and my Telegram chat. The groups are intended to be exclusive for the students that purchase the course. And it's a great way to share information amongst you guys. Additionally, it lets me stay in touch with you guys. I can't always get these videos out. I try to make one every day, and it takes time to render. It takes time to get them on YouTube. It takes time to put them together. If there's something that I want to shout out to you guys and I just want to say it, I can say it instantly on Facebook, on the Telegram chat. I can do it right from my phone. I don't have to worry about getting on here and making a video. So you guys can stay up to date. And take a look at it. It's over here on Udemy for just $10. You can see a look at what other students have said about it and even preview a couple of the modules. Uh, so let's talk about back to Litecoin. In previous videos, I mentioned that Litecoin is, it has served as really a great hedge over the past month. I pulled up the chart in the last month. We bring this back to July and you can see while everything was in a bear market, we've sort of seen an increase in price or or at least in these past few weeks, sort of sideways, a lot of consolidation, a lot of sideways action. And it really has not suffered too much. And that is because Litecoin basically already has SegWit implemented on it. SegWit, or uh, Litecoin rather, is basically a copy of Bitcoin with segregate, segregated witness already activated on it. So that brings into question a lot of concern about what will happen to Litecoin after SegWit. And I think that is valid, valid concern. Over the past day, we've actually seen a dramatic decrease in price of Litecoin, which I think may have a direct correlation to the news that I just uh, explained and showed to you about segregated witness uh, looking good in the proposal and having the, we have about 50% minor signaling for this, the, the proposal. And I think, again, that is uh, a direct reason as to why we see this decrease in price. Now, something I want to point out to you is over on litecoin.mit.edu, we have this uh, anonymous announcement, sort of. It, no one knows what the announcement is. Some people have rumored that it might be Lightning Network being activated on Litecoin. Nobody knows for sure, and it's interesting that it has also been released for August 1st. So, depending upon what this news is, if it's real, Litecoin was made at MIT, this could... Be big news for Litecoin. We could see a lot of action happen on August first. I think I will be I will be here to notify you guys what's going on. I would suggest if you you have the ability to be at a computer and pay attention to what's going on in the news with Litecoin and with Bitcoin August first. I would suggest being available because this could potentially swing price a lot in Litecoin one way or the other. It could be fake news and it could be nothing and we could see a big drop off in the in the price of Litecoin or it could be something great like Litecoin or Lightning Network being activated and you could see a large increase in price. So I think this is just something to be aware of. As I said, nobody really knows what this news is for sure. Uh, we can only speculate, but uh, stay stay uh, stay involved, stay alert, stay stay in the game. Stay alert though and stay on top of this. Be just just be involved, be around the news and make sure you know what's going on because this could affect your money. Uh, I also want to point out just a tweet that I saw over on John McAfee's uh, Twitter. John McAfee or McAfee, however you pronounce it, is a he's a guy that made McAfee the software. 
and he actually tweeted back to someone. Uh, he said, long-term Bitcoin moves above 500K or half a million within the next three years. And uh, someone bet him one BTC, 500K within three years. And he goes, if not, I will eat my D-I-C-K on national television. So interesting just to hear from him. I think uh, Bitcoin is undervalued. There are only, if we go back to the coinmarketcap.com, there are only 16 million in supply. There will only ever be 21 million in supply. And... It, it makes Bitcoin valuable. That is not a lot. I think in the long run, 5,000 Bitcoin by the end of the year is totally not out of the question. I think 10,000 within a year is not out of the question. I think we are going to see a lot of movement and swing these next couple of months, especially with SegWit. I think you'll see a lot of the major businesses come back into Bitcoin, come back into the crypto space uh, once everything is all said and done. So that's really all I have for today guys thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up in the video more importantly if you have any questions comments please leave them below I'm always happy to read them I'm happy to answer them I'm happy to make videos on the things that you guys are confused about so please leave your comments in the discussion box below you can get a link to my course the Udemy course that will also be provided in the in the link below if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel already please do and share it with anyone that you think that it could help. Uh, until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon.